can do it. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Do you believe that summer is nearly over? Where did summer go? And kids are already going back to school. So look at me. I wore my schoolgirl outfit today. <laughs> my madras plaid skirt. Don't you remember? What goes around comes around, huh? I figure if I leave it in my closet long enough, it'll be back. And so here it is. I'm ready for fall. And I have this great quilt. I always tell you I have this great quilt. It is a good quilt. Are you ready for it? Yes. yes. Okay. It is called Roundabout Stars. Ready? Okay, this one, this is my favorite. Now, you guys know Patty, right? Right. Yes. Take a bow. Hi, Patty. And Hi. thank you. So this is very special because this is our youngest sister's fabric. We were in Julian. We had no fabric but stuffed drawers full. And Judy had all 30s fabric. Ta-da! Ooh, where's the noise? And now you have to peek, just step out and let these people, and if you get your own show, go, ooh, whoa. So when you look at it, do you see a circle? Do you see going something going round about? Roundabout stars. We made nine different stars. They're all different colors. The value is the darkest. And then we tried to pick out all medium to put in four patch. There's four patch and there's half square triangles. You like it? Yeah. Yes, I love it. We had a really good time doing it. It was really fun. So it also, everything locks together. It's just after the scraps, you only need to have background. Is that easy or what? And so we really liked it. And then after we were all done and put it all together, then this is what I found. I said, should uh, I do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> was this, this was Judy's fabric also? This is Judy's okay. fabric. Remember that? And it's binding fabric, her binding fabric too, so it's just really fun. So we just, this is just the little wall hanging size, the round size, and it was just great fun. Nine stars and one big roundabout in the middle. And you see how you've got parts of roundabouts on the outside edges. You have just like half of them. So it was really fun to do. It's just like driving in a car. They have all those little roundabouts now. Yes. I know. So it's in England. Have you driven on the roundabouts? Yeah. Yep. And they're starting to do it all more, uh, more locally. When I was in yeah. Indiana, they had lots of roundabouts. Roundabouts. So it was really fun. Yeah. Okay, so this one is just the wall hanging from Judy, and this is our other assistant too. I'm cool. I'm really lucky today I have two new assistants David is assisting and Yay. so David. just put it out okay this one Patty did look at the back on it it's oh I, ha I have not seen this since I did I did it but Ready? I haven't it just came back from the quilter one two three and Ooh. Ooh. Ah. give them a show so. you make noise Ooh, that it's pretty. Isn't it pretty. So I told Orion I want to make a quilt, and I got a text from him, and he said, "There's fabric at your doorstep." And I opened the door, and all this fabric. There was a layer cake and a some layer cake. Yards. A and, layer cake. Oh, oh, we just happened to a have a layer that. cake. That, that's it. Where could we get one of those? Right here, Mara. Wow, I love that red. It looks so, good in the camera. So, but wow. you didn't get the um, stars out of the layer cake. That was a quarter yard. That was a quarter yard. Yeah. And the um, half square triangles and the four patch layer came cake. from the layer, layer cake. cake. Doesn't yeah. a layer cake make it easy for scrappy quilts? Yeah. You don't really have to like does. mess up your whole room trying to find those scraps. It really, really, it works really good. But this is really cool. This is August quilt. Patty did hers out of the layer cake. I started on September and I used the rest 
of Patty's layer cake. Ah, oh, now I know you can't wait till September, huh? <laughs> okay, so this is also the wall hanging size. Very, very pretty. Do you see the big roundabout right in the middle? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. zooping right around there. Very perky points on those stars, huh? All right. And Judy Jackson did this one. She it did. just it just came in last night. She did it Sunday, I guess. Yeah. Sunday. Okay, the next one is Oh. This one is yours too. Okay. Right? It's mine. Yeah. Okay. So This one's bigger. Bigger. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. That, that was my first fabric was that little gingham check. And we loved it so much we used it in two or three quilts. I think it was in the last quilt. Yeah. But what's yeah. that? Oh, did you notice? <laughs> did we plan? Did we do a good job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did look yeah, good. Yeah, it was really fun. And so notice how many different colors of stars. Just two, two just, just two. two. And um, this one has some consistency with just the two different colors, but then the check, see, appears in the same spot every time. So you can get real scrappy or you can put some one thing that repeats itself. I think a repeat often calms the whole uh, quilt down. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. A little bit of calming is not so crazy all over the place, but that looks really, Patty, look how good we look. Oh, Whoa. I see. And just to let you know, if you want to do it the easy way, just do two star colors alternating. And then you don't have to think too much. Do you like yeah. that? Because Teresa's next okay, quilt, okay, wait. she had to think a lot. It's coming. She had to think a lot. Oh, let me show the back because it is beautiful. Oh, it is. Look at the back. Oh, I love it. That is gorgeous. Love that yeah. coral. Isn't that gorgeous? Amy did it. Yeah, Amy. Yeah. Amy. And she bought, she sold her home. She's moving. She's not going to be able to quilt for us for a month. Whoa. Oh. That means we have to be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> That's not easy but for us. But she sent me a text and she said, wait till you see my new sewing room. Oh, so. we all feel that way. Oh. oh, you did? Did oh, you move her, her quilting? Quilting machine. Okay, so Teresa did do this one. She did it before she left. And as Patty said, she worked really hard on it. Ta da! Whoops. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. And beautiful. also, she used a layer cake. Oh my gosh, I saw the special price out in the store that they're selling it for. It's called. Um, Bumbleberries. <laughs> Bumbleberries. Very, very cute. And if you look, you can see that she uh, did purchase yardage for all of her stars. But you can see the center she pulled out of her layer cake, her half square triangles, her little four patches are all taken from the layer cake. And so it makes it a lot easier to wow, do. Wow, that's beautiful on the camera. <laughs> and the quilting is really special. Yes. Um, this is twin size. Look at the length of it. Um, do you want me? It's to a, a long so lap if you up. like. If you want to do twin, see. you could add one more border. And if you look in your pattern, there is yardage for queen, and after it, it says question mark because we didn't get the queen done, but you got the yardage for it, and you can do a queen if you like. So it would be beautiful on a bed, huh? What do you think? Yeah. It's, I, I really like this, too. This is really, really beautiful. Yes, it's very, very pretty. Okay, so let's just take a look at it, and you can see. So here you have um, this one block that has the four patch in the corners, and then the next one beside it has the half square triangles. And then it just repeats again with four patch. And then the next row is the alternate. Mm -hmm. So it just keeps on alternating between those two patches. And then the stars end along here, but we thought that it was missing something. So we did add 
an outside row around the outside edge to further extend that circle. You see it? Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Yes, it's very, very pretty. And this, the extension is really just, once again, it's made of um, uh, half square triangles. Beside the four patch is half square triangles. And beside the half square triangles here are the four patch. So they're just the opposite, too. And everything locks. This is really cute on the back. Looking good. That's sweet. It's keys. Keys. Yeah, we really like it. Cool. Okay, well, we're not going to leave David out. David, because you, tell us about you get your show, David. Okay, I started oh. this. David finished it. You want to you want to stand and talk about it? Sure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. To okay. Talking to my mic. Okay, so each um, each month we do a fat quarter club here at Quilted Today. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, Eleanor and um, Sue sit and pick out fabric lines. So this is made out of the fat quarter club. It's called Victoria Gardens. Um, it's by Robert Kaufman. And so the only thing we needed more yardage for was the um, star points and then around the border. So. Oh my gosh. And look, and that, that is, okay, oh. that was July. And is this August? Yes, that's wow. the eighth week of August. Martha is cutting this as we speak. August. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? For Christmas. Oh. There were girls in here yesterday looking for Christmas fabric already. So this is the fun thing. You just sign up for it, and every month it just comes to your door. And it's like a gift. You walk out and go, ooh, look what I got today. You do have to pay for it. but <laughs> <laughs> Just give us your check. And I just have to show you. I don't know if you noticed oh. this, David. But um, we, we work so fast that we rarely get our labels sewn in and marked. And so Teresa came up with this cool label idea I've shown you before. She just takes a square of fabric, folds it in half, and then she makes sure she encloses those two raw edges when she stitches down her binding. Judy Jackson does not want to be forgotten as the long arm quilter. She always writes her name on a piece of fabric and pins it to the label. Oh. She knows it'll get written on there someday. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So, and I love the um, binding, the little plaid. Yeah, David did a lot. And you did quilt, no. No, Judy did. Judy did, Judy quilted it. Cool. All right, that's really good. Hey, I have a stack of all of these fat quarters. Um, Teresa's, how about I do it this way? Teresa's fat quarter. That our layer cake. Whoop, thank you. I'm talking fat quarters now. Layer cakes. Okay, that was one good layer cake. And then Patty did this one. This one was from Riley Blake. And this was called Fantine. And that's really bright. And we found these really cool polka dot um, layer cakes here at Quilton Today because they work great as blenders. And they're like, they're really cute. And if you look, if, like if you get this one, just think you could, um, let me find some of the colors. You could um, mix some of them into, these, these two aren't necessarily going to go good. Okay, how about this one? Okay, oh, see yeah. the turquoise on the top? You could just go ahead and pull a blender of one of the turquoises. Looks, looks really great. So Patty and I found out while we were working, if we were stuck, we went to our polka dot blenders and they're very cute. Good story? Yes. Yeah. All That's right. A nice texture. I'm going to move yeah. this out of the way and we will Thank show God, you God. how to do it. And do you all have a pattern? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and you have something special, Janet. You have newspaper pattern. Oh, my sister just gave this to me. Oh. Yes, yeah, she said, Dana said, her sister just gave her the Millennium Quilt with 2,000 pieces. I remember that. I remember um, they did that in uh, Julian. Okay, 
2,000 pieces. Don't worry, I won't make you do 2,000 piece <laughs> quilts. Okay, go to page two. I want to show you the four units. Okay, are you thinking, oh my gosh, this is hard, this is hard. Huh? Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> I was. Okay, I'm going to show you how easy it is. First of all, first patch. Four patch. How many can do four patch? Yay. Yay. Second patch. Half square triangles. How many can do half square triangles? Yeah. These all finish at four and a half inches. Okay, four and a half inches. And the next one. Let me see. How many of you can do squares? Yeah. <laughs> squares. So this is pretty good. That's three out of the four already. And you can do all of those because they're a piece of cake. And how about, can you do a triangle in a square? Triangle in a square. Yeah? You can do this quilt. Yay! Cool. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do each one of these units. Patty's going to help me. And whenever we're done, um, this is one of my blocks, and I, I kind of goofed up on it, but I didn't get it unsewn yet. I decided to just let it like this so you could see that I didn't do everything perfect all the time. <laughs> Where's the problem? <laughs> Good. I, oh. My last oh. class told me I screwed up on my green. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Fine, if you can't see it, I'm not going to tell. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't tell anybody. All you have to do is just kind of cover it up when you... <laughs> <laughs> so it's the pressing that makes it so fun. This one is the stars with four patch. Okay, remember this. When you finish, you always press your seams away from the star points, okay? You away or out. So this is an Audi. Okay, remember the four patch is an Audi. Everything is away from the four patch. Okay, so the second block that we're towards the four patch. Yeah, uh, away from the star point. Away from the star. Yeah, yeah, away from the star point. Thank you. Correct me. Okay, and this is the second one. This is one of our leftover blocks from Judy's quilt. This one has the uh, half square triangles. This one is an any, okay, in, you go in towards the star points. Can you see? Always in, always in towards the star points. And so if you get that, then when you put these two together, all of these seams lock. Ooh, are you excited? Yes. Yes, cool, all right. So I'm just gonna leave them on there. All right, so when you look in your pattern on page three, there's the um, quilt that we did for Judy. Okay, so Patty and I are going to work together here. You just come on up here. The yardage okay. is on page four and five. And see the queen? It says question mark. It's nowhere. So don't keep on flipping and looking for it, okay? <laughs> Just make it yourself and then you'll know what it looks like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only need 30 stars. That's a lot, huh? Yeah. Is that there, is a lot. Is there a king also? Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought we were good with a, a wall hanging. Okay, never okay. mind. Okay, so now we're going to just... Add more borders. Uh, yeah, add more right, borders. Right, right. That would be that's a lot of borders. Okay. That a lot, that's a lot of borders. Okay, so we're just going to go to page six, and this is the easiest one. Teresa said, write the book with the easiest first and work your way up so you guys all know. So we did um, strips, two and a half inch strips, two and a half inch strips, and I thought that you should cut two and a half inch by ten and a half inch if you really want to get a lot of variety. And that, that works really good. You you get, yeah, four from a strip. Four, four from a strip, from yes. A strip. Yeah. So let's just take, and what's important, if you take and you put the medium on the, the first one on the bottom 
and you take the second set for a four patch, you put the medium on top on the second one. That way it's going to lock your seams and your seams are going to work towards the darkest fabric. That works good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to, you want to cut these for me? I can do that. Okay, so you cut it and I'm going to sew it really, really quick. Okay, can I cheat? <laughs> oh my goodness, the shape look cut. at that. Yeah, we got to do it fast because Al's a fast sewer. I got to keep up with her. <laughs> and you've all seen this before, haven't you? Okay, so we'll line up the zero in the corner and the dark line on the bottom. And then we're going to go, um, just going to sliver trim, straighten the edge. And there's my first cut, two and a half. Five, help me out here. Five. Five. You've done this. Seven and a half. Ten. <laughs> Thank you for your help. There. Okay. Ta da! Okay. Ta -da! <laughs> and isn't this nice? Oh, the seams are going up, so she won't be um, sewing against the seam. And we'll just line them up in a row. Okay, so while I do the sewing on this, uh -huh. Patty is the one, so I go, okay, two and a half by ten and a half. Patty goes, oh no, I'm going to use a layer cake. So, if you do a layer cake. Okay. So, so it's not quite 10 oh, well, and a half inches, right? Well, there are 10 inches exactly. And you'll recognize the layer cake. It has this pinked edge. So when you're cutting, you have to be very careful that you, you know, you don't have anything to trim off the end. Oh, David, would you like to do a little <laughs> pressing? I go, David, where'd you go? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So set your seam with the dark on the top or the medium. It's actually the medium color. Okay, here's a couple of these. Here, I'm just going to run over here and let you get that one. I did all four already. And I love to do four Oh patch. my goodness. See, we can't sure keep up with her. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So when you're using your layer cake, um, it's best to keep your background a little bit longer. That'll give you just a little bit extra. And again, line up the pinked edges very carefully. Um, and then we're going to, yeah, those line up on both ends. And then we'll just make sure that the 10 inches falls right inside. Let's see if I got this right. Yeah, looks good. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was off a half. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> So if you line up, say? if you line up zero and ten on those little pink edges, thank you. Yeah. It'll go just right. And as they say, measure twice. No, measure twice, cut once. So it's a good <laughs> thing I checked. Okay, here we go. This two and a half. Thank you. Good. Okay. So, so what I did was just open my patches and kind of swirl it. You don't have to unsew the seams this time. You just like put your finger down on the right, the bottom to the left, and you just get a little violent with your patch, and it'll pop open. And David, da 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 da. I can't find my uh, cutting gizmo. I know it's okay. here. So. Nope. We don't really need to sew these, do we? No. Nah. They know how they to do know, it. They know, right? They know how to do it. Okay. Okay, Patty. Scissors. Ah. Okay. That's good. So, you've got the four patch down, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, and there's a little chart if you're doing a whole bunch of scrappy stuff. There's a chart for a wall hanging, a lap, 
and a quilt. Okay? Good? All right, turn the page. Beep. So someplace in here, we have our little um, half square okay, I'll get triangle. This out of here. Yeah, okay, half square triangle. And so in the book, I said, okay, go ahead and take a five and a half inch by 11 inch background and the medium, place it right sides together, draw the center line, draw the diagonal line, doo -doo and cut in half and on the diagonal, and then just square it up. So how's that? Do you want me to do it? Yep. Okay. And I'm going to look for my ruler. <laughs> well, oh, we've got lucky. This one is already sewn. Oh. Do you notice the red thread? She did it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all, you all, we're magical. Done this. It's too easy. Okay. But we do need to square it up. So we'll first cut on the drawn lines. And then I want to show you two different ways to square up. And uh, there's one method if you press first. I guess we lost our presser, so I'm not going to press. <laughs> okay. He walked out the door. I will press. Oh, but okay. But okay. But when you don't get it pressed first, then you use the triangle square up. Okay. Uh, which is uh, this ruler. I know a lot of you have worked with this. It's a quick way. And we want to look for the five inch line. That's our squaring size. And if you just put that five inch line is on it, the stitch line. It's, it's, this is four and a half. Oh, it's we're four and a half. Yeah, we're doing four and a half. Oops. Oh. Cut. <laughs> oh, I'm glad Retake. you. Retake. Okay. <laughs> Thank oh, you, David. Okay, it was a little bit on the, okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay, there's a four and a half. Boy, I'm glad you've done this before. Okay. <laughs> and what you want to do, and now I notice in the directions it says, line up the four and a half inch line with the stitch line. And then basically we're going to trim two edges, but I just have a little tip that I like to place those two lines parallel to one another with the ruler line just slightly above the stitch line. And that will give you a little extra to compensate for the press seam. Because you know when you press it open, it tends to shrink a little bit. So um, now I'm going to show you one way. This is one way if you just zip, zip. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and, yeah, thank you. And then we'll just cut off those little tips. Hello. You can come in. And then thank we can you. press. Um, and then if you, if you, um, if you want to try a new product, Ooh. we have a little turntable. And I'm going to use this when I trim the, uh, this one has been already pressed. And when you're, it's a, oh, it's a roundabout? <gasps> it's a roundabout! How convenient! It's yes. a roundabout. Okay, so if you have it already pressed, you might want to you might want to try this fussy cut ruler, exactly four and a half inches, and uh, here we'll place the st stitch line on the ruler line, and we're just going to do a little trim. Isn't that nice? This is just the right size, We've, and then we'll just give it a little spin, kind of like roundabout. the wheel of fortune, I guess. And then that worked nicely. And then when you get done, if you need to do a little pressing, there's a little pressing mat underneath. Oh. And I, what I noticed that's really nice is these two don't uh, shift when you're working. There's something about this matte finish that's very that cool. it just, you know, it's stable. 
So there you go. I didn't realize that. Oh, I, we just learned about it. <laughs> yeah. How cool. Isn't that nice? Yeah. If only we had an iron. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, and this can lift off too. Oh my goodness. What's under there? Um, <laughs> the, tur the roundabout. Oh, okay. Something for the kids, you know, kind of like they have. Oh, those. okay. So this is the idea. There is a non-slip surface on this. It's very, it's, um, okay, David, you know the, like the name of this fabric? It's, it's, well, it's like suede, but it's, um, it really does grip this. It does. It does grip it. It does grip it. So, is, and this one also has uh, a surface. So let's see. Yep. Okay. Both grip, and they both sit on top of each other. Oh. Nice. Boy, did we do a good demo. We just learned a lot, didn't we? If you wanted to be really creative, you could try your pizza <laughs> on top. You just go. Yay. <laughs> cool. I like it. OK. All right. Good deal. OK, so now we got our half square triangles. Was that good? That was easy, oh, and now... But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, um, there's more? Did well, you forget something? I'm already you, turning the page. I'm sorry, out. can I just back up a minute? If you're doing the... <laughs> just let me tell you one more thing. <gasps> in case, the whole deal. If you decide you want to use the layer cake to do your half square triangles, you just draw an X down the middle, so on both sides, and then we're going to cut. What? I'm going to help oh. you. Oh, See good. See the square underneath? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Thank gosh. You. Look at oh. that. So now you can find your half line, your, your center line. Right. I can line that up. Good. And then we'll just cut in the middle. So with a layer cake, you spin. are actually making eight half square triangles at one time. And you definitely want to have a bigger quilt for eight that are all the for, same, especially if you want a scrappy look. For my quilt that I did, the wall hanging, I realized my layer cake actually had three repeats, the fabric I used for my half square triangle. And you actually need four squares, four 10 inch squares will do that uh, wall hanging size quilt. So I did three with four. matching, oh, I did three matching, and then the fourth one, Oops. I just did another color. Do you want, water, water. let me show that. Yeah, I, I um, let me go find that quilt. <laughs> and Oops. it's the one that just came. She, she off oh, the stage. Oh, I forgot to finish. You want me to finish cutting it? Okay. See if you can find out where did I run out of the half square triangles. The gray. You see in the four corners. So you can just kind of plan something uh, kind of balanced. So then they, um, then it, you you know it, it works in the design. You didn't notice it until I told you. But it's not a bad thing. I kind of think it's nice because it goes lighter in the edges. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right. Cool. We done with this one? We got eight of them. Mm -hmm. Cool. Eight of them. Good. All right. So, now let's move all of this out of the way because we have the triangle and square. Turn the page, beep. I'm on page 10 now. Page 10. And if you want, let me see, here we go. Here there you go. and here. Okay, and those are for later. Okay, we're doing good. We made a total mess, didn't we? Typical, okay. So, I'm going to sit down, and we have these rulers for um, 
the half square triangle, I mean the triangle and a square, and you put little dots. Okay. Well, good. yeah, this one, um, I haven't tried the little dots, so I'm going to see how I like them. <laughs> We're Elle likes everything. the dots. I did medical tape on mine, Shh, but we don't <laughs> sell medical tape. I know, but <laughs> we yeah. sell dots. Okay, I'm going to try your dots. Try my dots. Okay, I need some more dots for this one. Okay. Do you want a hand? Okay, you start with okay, this one, I'll and I'll do put, that. and I'll okay. do this one. Okay. All righty. So first, we're going to do the background triangle, uh, working with a five-inch strip. And you see how nicely it lines up the top and the bottom. And this one, we're just going to do a little... Okay, and yes. there's two lines on that. Whoops. Oh, you know what? It works. The dots are on the wrong side. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I, my mistake. Oops. First time. Okay. <laughs> now, now I wondered why it wasn't. It was shifting. Oh, that works great, Elle. I oh, like thank your dots. You. Okay, the dots are good. So we'll cut one and then reverse. You're doing an amazing job cutting sideways for Eric. Oh, good. I can't quite do that. Oh, good. Ooh, that looks dangerous. And then we'll continue. That's let, good. Let you, I guess. So y'all get the idea. You just keep alternating, cut, and then is that? Do you? And you can you, you like? can layer cut. You can keep your strip folded, or yeah. you can layer up strips. I don't know how many you like to cut at one time, but. Four, so you're accurate, right? Would you like four for a, for one star? Four for a star, four. very good. Okay. Okay, I have three already. Okay. And beside her are the six by three rectangles for those perky points. Okay. okay. And you need to have two pairs. And that will give you the four points. Okay. okay. So this is very important. Make sure your fabrics are layered wrong side together. For you know why mirror image. That darn mirror image. <laughs> yeah, because if you if you have them all right side up, you learn the hard way. It doesn't work. They all, they're either all righties or lefties, so there's that. So you see when we cut them apart, let me just get one more cut. And then you can see when you separate the pair, we have a right side and a left side. Perfect. Good. And I always tell people to stack everything right side up. And then when you bring it over to your triangle, here, let me show you my triangle here. And when you start out, okay, two on each side. Oops. Oh, you want to face. Like that? That looks right. Right? Is that good? Yes. But just take your right one and set it out of the way and don't even look at it now or it'll get you totally confused. All right? Now, how would I know that? <laughs> That's after teaching hundreds of this, these classes. Okay, so all you do, and I'm going to just flip the page. Let's see. Go over one page. Go to page 14. Page 14. And you just flip the background triangle to the left. And you have this cute little point right up here at the top. This is where your stiletto really comes handy. See this little um, point right here? You have that sticking out at the top. And let me pull that up just a slightly. And then you have this long old point hanging out at the bottom. I'm looking at our new virgin. Donna, how is your sister doing? Are you following this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be scared. Ask Donna. It's easy, right? Very. very easy. Very, very easy. Okay, so if you want, use a jumper scrap. 
I have my so straight on my um, sewing machine. I, I honestly just can't live without that now. So I'm just going to um, drop my presser foot, start out slow, keep um, the edge lined up on the sew straight. Ta-da! Okay, power, like so. And you just keep on doing all four, one after the other. Let us see, is your iron hot, David? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> you keep on disappearing. What are you doing when you disappear? You're answering people on Facebook. And what are they saying? Tell us what they're asking you. They love you, girls. They love us, girls. Did you hear that? Someone from Puerto Rico watching. Oh, Puerto Rico watching. That's good. And from all over the country. See, when they go into the control room, they can actually look and see how many people are watching. This room is very crowded right now. <laughs> very, very crowded. The walls have eyes. The walls have eyes. Yeah, um, I've been, I was just in Indiana, and I have met a lot of um, people that are enjoying the, um, the watching um, the different programs. And I had a lady in just yesterday, she said, how happy she was that we do this because she has to work. Okay, so give that to David and ask him to set the seam with the point on top. I had somebody watching um, out of dentist office. Uh, <laughs> where, from where? From a dentist office. Wow. <laughs> is, she, is she in the chair or is she in the waiting room? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's pretty cool. See? I watch TV at my dentist's office while you're getting yeah. your work done. Okay, and here's two more that um, we need. And so you can go get these. And now I'm going to get my right stack back. See, wasn't that good? Don't worry about that until you need it. Okay, so whenever you um, take these, don't trim this little tip off. That's very important. Leave that little tip on because it is now a match point. When you take your second piece and then you just line up those little points right up at the top. Perfect, like so. And then you just let your bottom hang over at the bottom. And so when you start sewing, you really want your um, needle, if I, if I put my needle down and just you shove that piece right into that V. That's where you really want to start sewing. So that's why you need to have like a perfect quarter of an inch. Okay, well, you do need to sew. Okay, one more time. Foot down. Don't cut the thread. <laughs> Okay, so now let's just go ahead and take this one and we'll have David press the second one, set the seam with the um, point on the top. You know what would be a really good practice for me to say is repeatedly throughout the thing, I'm working from roundabout star, it's item number, blah, 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 or, because that, that's the question that I see just constantly filling. They always ask, where can I get this pattern? Where they can came I get this pattern? Where can they get? Okay, so they can come. Do you, oh, Ryan, do you want to come to, into the camera and tell everybody? Okay, okay. You can get this pattern at Quilt in a Day. Roundabout Stars. It's our new pattern, Roundabout Stars. And what's really cool about this pattern is that we have done. <laughs> We have done not only rotary cutting, but AccuQuilt cutting as well in one pattern. Very, very easy to do. It's um, 9.50. It is a 24-page booklet. It's a mini book, 24 pages, four color, pressing directions, yardage charts, 
great illustrations. What else can I say? Does Did it look I thumb easy? it up? It looks it's easy. It's super great. Yeah. It's super great. It is um, item number. I'm not sure which is the item number, Orion. Oh, yes, up here where it says easy. One, two, one, one. Easy. Quilt in a day. And you can do you can order it online or you can pick up your telephone and call one eight hundred seven 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 four eight five two. There are operators standing by. <laughs> Yay. How did I do? Okay. Good. I could get a job here, huh? Oh my gosh. And Patty, while I sew the other okay. three, did you get one of them? Okay, you can show how okay. to square it. Do you want to put your turnable back? Okay. After we did that well, great promotion. Since it works, Our turnable! It works so and well. And yes, you can get that here too. With all of those cool features that we just learned. And sew okay. straights and stilettos and all layer right. cakes. And okay, so here's this perfect little trim ruler. And it is part of a set, just in case you haven't seen this before. The two rulers are sold as a set. Uh -oh. And what a great name is called, a triangle and a, a square. square. In a square and a square, yeah. And it has an item number. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just remember, triangle and a square. There's two parts to the set. And notice, actually, on this ruler, you see there's like a, a teal green line, and there's also a red line, not to be confused. If you want to do this block in a smaller size, you work with the red trim line and your original strip was, I believe, a four inch strip, which we line up on the, uh, when you're cutting that triangle, your strip lines up on the edge of the, of the fabric, and that's the smaller size. Finishes at three and a half inches. Uh, this one, uh, let's just line up perfectly. Uh huh. Oh, it's one size makes two, one set makes two sizes. Uh, this one we're using the four and a half inch finish, and the other is three and a half. Okay. okay. The set. Whoops. I can't find the one with the little dots on it. Oh, oh. no. But oh. anyhow, this is the set. Yes. It's the triangle, and then it's the square up. Okay, and I'm just going to make sure it's lined up perfectly. And we're just going to trim, whoops, two sides. So you can put it on top of that little square. That's a cool idea. Um, yeah, and then give it a little spin. Oops. Oh, thank you. And out of nowhere comes the triangle in a square. Oh, cool. <laughs> And it is hmm, item number. I still have no idea, but you know what it says? More instructions inside. You know what? That's really funny what I see about our rulers. A lot of people buy rulers and they never open them up. And they're going, I don't know how to open, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do it. If you open it up, there's instructions inside. <laughs> yeah. And that and reminds me, this, that um, ruler coming out of nowhere, I remember years ago when I was doing PBS and uh, the, uh, the uh, cameraman realized that I threw my ruler on the floor and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this ruler <laughs> onto my table. <laughs> and, and just to um, give you more information, this ruler is um, unlimited. There are several different quilts you can make, the Tennessee Waltz. We have something called Moon Dance. We did, um, what else have we done with the ruler? Um, to larger one, Patches of Light. Yeah, patches larger of light. one, Patches of Light. Yeah, we, we do have it in a larger size, finishes at six 
and four and a half. And you know what? I, I misspoke. The actual finished size of the patch is four inches. And, and then three inches for the smaller. Oops. Let us see. But I'm trimming it at four and a half. I think this one will be really pretty. So how about let's make um, a block, okay? Okay. I'm going to work on it right up here. Okay. And I am going to take and lay this out. And I think. Didn't we find this one was going to be our center? Was that going to be our center? Looks good like to me. Like that. It works. Like that. One, two. And you have to like hurry along because I'm catching up with you. And oh. I love this one, the sweet little patch here. So let's just do the uh, one with the half square triangle. And if I do the half square triangle, oh, how are the seams supposed to be set? On the half square triangle block, the seams are innies. Innies. Okay, so how about like that? Is that good? So Patty and I have a room full of patches. So many patches. So that looks good, huh? So oh, far, yeah, I like it. You, you like it? You know, me. we didn't think about that. Doing your four half square triangles the same, that would be. Oh, you we could. That you, would be. But you could mix them really all. Really? Remember, easy. they were all mixed up in this block. Do whatever you want. That's the best thing. <laughs> it's your quilt. Right. Do what you want. There you go. Oh, it's okay. pretty, Elle. Is it pretty? It's very pretty. It's very very pretty, huh? Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is the vertical rows on, on um, both blocks. You just take the middle row and flip it to the left. We got a little smidgen right there. Look at that little smidgen hanging out right there. That looks very interesting, Patty. Oh, I know, I goofed. Look what you did. I tried to catch it, but you grabbed it out of my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, you know how I am. I'm always moving along, <laughs> hurry along. Okay, so you can go ahead. If you want to just take it, oh, this is really going to confuse you. If you want to take a stack to your sewing machine, stack it from the top to the bottom. <gasps> top to bottom. And now I have these cute little stacks. I'm just going to take them and put them right here, right? I used to walk back and forth to my cutting table for each little piece, forget that. <laughs> you don't have time in life, right? You don't have time in life. Okay, so I'm gonna assembly line sew these, and Patty, while I do this, you are going to get that magnificent table runner that we oh. have on that shelf lay up there. Out. Okay. And you are going to lay them out and show everybody. Okay, and so I'm just gonna line up all these pieces and sew them together. Oops. Do you want me to do it vertical or horizontal? Horizontal. Okay. Okay, and so you can talk. Oh, maybe David should help you hold. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. David, did you design this table runner? No. It's oh. I thought maybe you did. Actually, you did. You did. So Don't be so modest. He did the first one, and then we just wrote you uh, some yardage. If you like it, it's very easy to do. Okay, um, Eric, it. I don't know if you're jumping back and forth okay. to Patty to me. What are you doing? You're both on... On me? Okay, so I'm right down at the bottom. Oh, this one is, oh, that one I had to flip. Uh-oh, get the ripper. <laughs> yeah, I, for some reason, I had a little hard time with these outside pieces. And you can see it's just three pieces and I, but you really have to look at the picture. That's, that's what the problem is. I wasn't looking at the picture. So that looks better. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. Eric, you want to show them here? So here are the three. This is the first vertical row. It's all chained together. And so you're just going to open it up. Ooh, look at that perky point. Whoa, going really close. That is as perky as it gets. Look at that. That good? Whoa. And then when you look down here, it's a different angle. So it goes, you have this little point that goes, it's very, um, let me see. See if you can see it like that. Yeah. Very good. Woo, you did good, Eric. And something we, uh, I really like about this design is right here, you see where the pattern dips in, where the circles come together. And this is a wonderful opportunity for the quilter to do something really special in that, uh, that dip area. Isn't it pretty? We actually did all of this out of all of our leftovers. If you can imagine what the sewing room looks they, like. Now tell the truth, Al, these were rejects. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They're rejects. We thought these colors were too soft, but we, we, we kept them anyway, and we're glad we did. Oh my gosh. I have some rejects here you could not believe. <laughs> Where did I leave those? Ah! I'm not sure. They're green. Oh my goodness, we're going to have to find them and give them away, Patty. <laughs> They're the worst color of green. When she was picking this color out, oh, yeah. Teresa and I, she said we just stood there with our arms folded and looked at her. I know. Well, I started out with this really sweet little print with all these colors in it, and I pulled all those colors together and I called Ellen and, and Teresa. I said, what do you think? And they both stood there like that. <laughs> and where's that That's horrible it. green? Yeah. I stacked it and put it in a little plastic bag. Oh. I told Patty I was going to sell it. Oh, <laughs> you did it. Yeah. OK, so I am so, how are you doing? Oh, do you want to point out the, um, the border pieces, the outside edges? Um, the, those two border pieces are pressed in different directions, like these two, Patty. Okay. Can you show those two bottom pieces? Okay, take that one off the wall and show them what that looks like on the back side. Because it's made to all lock together. Go in these, remember you press toward the four patch, and these press in the opposite direction. And see, that's when you have this wonderful little light chain that runs through. And you, um, do, I found out, do not just sew this separate and then try to attach it to your stars. It doesn't work. Yeah. Do everything first so you guys find out. Okay, I've got my vertical rows hung together. And now is the time where you really need to press in. At this step, you lay it, lay it down flat, and I feel a little, let's see if I can do this without burning myself. So, it's easy, just take and press in toward the star point. I love my um, reliable iron. Whoops. Aha! Okay, gimpy arm coming here. But, two in towards the um, point. And so when you get to the next middle row, this is going to be toward the point, in toward the point. Woo! Another one. In toward the point, and then this one, just move it. And this is going to go in. Innies! And so these are going to lock right here because they're going in opposite directions. Got it? Yeah. Oh, that was heavy. So, you guys know, uh, I, I um, tore my rotator cuff years ago. And, uh, this is heavy. Okay, so then all I have to do is just go across the other way. 
There it is, there. Flip it right sides together. This is going one way, this is going the other, and they lock perfectly, right in the center. Okay, so while I finish this, or do you have any questions? What do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> Yes? Five inches. Five, five inches? Five inches? Uh-huh. Oh, on the outside edge. Okay, that's good. That's a good question. What size is the outside border? Five inches. And that's a good question. Six inches? Oh, is it six? Just make it oh, up. What size quilt is that? Oh, that's the lap. And I think, is the wall hanging, say, five inches? Okay. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. What else do you want to know? <laughs> that's a really funny question, Mara. No? Right, My well, chair does not squeak. <laughs> Oh, 409. Oh my gosh, this is a sad story. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Nope. Other question. Come on, ask me. What do you want to know? I have one more seam. Yes, Brenda. Oh, Miss Brenda. Yes, what would you like to know? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? I do I do like to do that too. Uh, Brenda asked if you were going to make this totally scrappy, should you make your background scrappy too? Stick with all kind of light backgrounds. I it doesn't look right if you mix a, a beige one and off-white in there with it. It just doesn't look good. I've tried it, but it doesn't. And and that is something that um, would be really fun. So basically, to make your pattern really work, you have to keep your background, you have to keep your medium for your um, four patch and your half square triangles and dark for your stars so they really stand out. All right, David, you get to do final pressing. And this time, you take this seam and you go in in, in, in towards the star points, okay? And that's it. Oh my Woo! goodness! We're done? Yay! That's it, it's a star, Yay. it's a star! Thank you! And take a bow!